proportional reasoning is something that you use all the time and you might not have even realized it, you know. You, you use it, but if you haven't heard that term before, you might not know what it's called. Um, proportional reasoning is, is with rates or ratios. If you know that, um, give me any kind of example of a rate or a ratio. Give me set, one of the ones you guys, that you put on your quiz. Just any kind of a rate. Any kind of a rate. A unit rate, sure. 2.5, yeah, that's my unit rate. 2.5 squirrels per day for one day. This is a this is a unit rate, right? It's comparing two things. Proportional reasoning is saying is comparing that with another rate. A proportion is a comparison of rates or ratios. Maybe we should write that down here in orange. Proportional, proportion. A proportion is a comparison of, if I were you, I would put this down. And you might even put it down first, that definition, and put, put our silly examples we're going to come up with here. No, they're, they're good examples. I wasn't saying that. Um, and while we're at it here, don't forget to put a title, right? What's the title that you should use here? 2.3. You can either put proportional reasoning or just proportions, whatever you want. You should make sure you don't miss letters like I just did. This is making for some good video here, by the way. Proportional reasoning. If you want to make it look nice, you could draw a nice line underneath and whatever, however you're setting it up. I would like, because when I collect your notebooks, I, I want to be able to find things easily. You should start any of these on a new page. Don't start it at the bottom of something else. It's really hard to find then. All right. Comparison of rates or rates, that's good, eh? Comparison of rates or ratios. So the one that we have here is 2.5 squirrels for one day. <laughs> However we came up with that, we did. What does that mean, though? If I want to compare it to something else, like, is that the same as in four days, how many squirrels would walk by the fence? Just for the people at home, that's what we're talking about, right? That's where this comes from. I actually already saw a couple today, so we're almost at the 2.5. I didn't see the 0.5 go by yet, but at some point maybe half a squirrel will walk by. What 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 might be up here? What do you think? What? Ten, yeah, ten. If this is if these are going to be the same rate, equivalent rates, then that has to be a ten, right? You use this all the time, right? You use this this kind of idea all the time. You're going to make a batch of cookies or something or other and you know that the the ratio of I don't know if the if the recipe says that you have three cups of flour and two cups of I'm making it up here so you probably like the cookie if the ratio was a little lower than that right <laughs> sugar yeah that's good um if you if you took that then because if you say well I don't really like cookies but so I'm not going to make that many I only want to make um, I want to make less than that so what if I only did one cup of sugar with my good spelling there I don't know what I was thinking there uh, well, how much would go on, what would go on top of that what was that yeah 1.5 right. That's proportional reasoning, right? Proportional reasoning is comparing two rates or ratios and just saying, if I know the comparison, then I can work it out, right? If you're going to make enough cookies for the entire school and we needed, uh, what do we need here? 5,000 cups of sugar. Actually, let's make that 5,000 cups of, no, that's not a good number. Let's not make it that hard right away. 5,000 cups of sugar. What would go on top here? I'm going to move this down to see the comparison here. What would have to go on top there? Somebody tell me. 
We're not sure, eh? In this case, we got to think about, well, how many times bigger? What, what, what factor am I increasing that by? What am I multiplying this by? I am multiplying it by what? 2,500, right? I'm making 2,500 times what the recipe says. So then what would I have to do with this? Times by the same thing, right? That's what... That's what proportional reasoning is. It's increasing something by multiplying, not by adding. Notice you're not adding something. If you say that the ratio of something is 2 to 5, and then you say if this was if this was 7 now, what would this be? You don't say that that's adding 5, so this is adding 5. You don't say that this is 10. It's not the same ratio anymore then. It's not the same, you know, that's not a proportion because you've added, you don't add to something, you multiply, okay? If I, if I, uh, maybe this will work now, uh, something visual for the, for the visual people, which I am one. Um, that's not visual, that's a mess. <laughs> uh, this is, this is visual here. So we have this line. <laughs> If that line is that long and this red line is, I'm going to try and make it half the size, sort of. There's about half the size, right? If I, um, if I take both of those now, I don't know if I can move both of them at once. Can I move both of them once? I can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Let's try this way. Let's try a different way. Here we go. If those, if th those, there's some certain ratio between the lengths of those things. If I increase it now, proportionally, they're both increasing the same amount. I'm not adding to each of their lengths. I'm multiplying by something. If I go from there to that much, I've maybe I've probably doubled the length. I've times them both by two. Or if I start there and I go to this long, maybe I've uh, divided them by five. But you can multiply or divide. That's what proportion. What a proportion is. It's comparing two things and multiplying to see what that comparison is. All right. You can use any any rate or any ratio if you're trying to solve for an unknown. We just we kind of did this. Uh, we what I would like you to start to do is use a variable when you set something up here. Let's um, let's take a second here to invent a a proportion question. And I want you to put this down. You can call this, I know it's not an example in the book, but we'll call this example, what number? There's one, two, and three in the book. <coughs> example 29. Does it matter what you call it? Doesn't matter. No, don't do that. Extra example. You call it what you want. Um, let's say... Uh, five rolls of hockey tape cost, make up a number, five rolls of hockey tape cost $27, what's that hockey tape made out of? $27, okay, five rolls of hockey tape cost $27, you better shop somewhere else. They're big rolls or they're made out of something very expensive. Um, how much... Hey, hey, hey. How much should 12 rolls... Is that not... A, we better stick with nice numbers here. How much should... No, 10 is too easy here, I think. Okay, how much should 10 rolls cost? Yeah. Yeah. I, I know, I mean, we're sticking with an easy number first because I want you to see that you can see the answer and you've used your you've used your intuition. But I want to show you how you can set up a proportion for when we do things that aren't such nice numbers, okay? Here's how you can write a proportion. A proportion is going to be a comparison of two ratios or rates. What you're going to do is you're going to write something like A over B equals C over D, but you're going to write something for each of those. 
or I guess maybe we're not as good with using variables. It's going to be something over something else equals this divided by this. Just like before up here, we had something like that. Now I actually have to pause this and start again. Not start again, but pause it and start.